So today, we're trying out the Toho Combinations mod. This mod adds a bunch of different characters, new items, etc, etc, the big whoop, the whole shebang. But the whole reason I wanted to play it specifically is because I received a spooky DM. Ooh, so ghastly. In the content suggestions channel of my Discord. What's in here for our first one? That, that is a, I gotta take it. It's new. It's down. I mean, <laughs> I don't think that's an Isaac item, is it? It's a luck up with flight while holding three of these. Okay interesting enemies have a chance to drop more oh i see i make them drop fairy dust once i have this picked up the enemies have a higher chance to drop them the higher luck i see okay well then uh the goal with this is basically i guess we kill enemies right and we try and collect three so we get flight that's a cool concept so that message that i got in the content suggestions channel was basically saying that hey matt you should play this mod and then get to the ascent where uh, you know the beast is and go all the way back to basement one and in the first treasure room, there's gonna be an item, you take that and you go fight Dogma, and then something's gonna happen. And I don't really know what, but the way they worded it in the, in the, you know, message, right, was like, you know, <laughs> if you can beat it, lamau, lol, haha. So I'm thinking, <laughs> it's probably big boss related. Oh! You gotta make it so that I can buy this, please. What kind of donation machine is that? I've never felt so scammed in my life. Let me do the boss and then maybe the sack room. I'm, I'm gonna get the stopwatch. So that's why we're playing Isaac, because we are gonna try and buff ourselves up all the way, right? And handle whatever this secret final giga boss may be. Bam it, you're done. This was a soul heart. Do we roll this? I think we do. We get an HP up. That's actually good. We can make this uh, work out in our favor, actually. Check this out. Let's hurt ourselves a little bit on the sack room. Use the HP up to heal ourselves. Use it a bit more. Maybe get some money. I don't know. I mean, it's uh, maybe. You'll see. Let's see. Should I use the soul heart? I really don't think I should, but I'm gonna do it. I think there's a soul heart in the shop anyway, so if I don't get a payout, I can just buy it back for the next floor. It's gotta be a big chest. Oh, wow. Maybe card? Tower? Oh, wait. No, there's no way this works, actually. Uh, I gotta go for the secret room. All right, well, you know what? You can't say I didn't try, all right? All right, I gotta hold that. At least I know that I did everything that I could. Let's go. And this time, should we go to the down floor? Ah. Sure, I'm a little nervous, but we'll deal with it. I can handle it. Ow, my face, that always hurts. So let's go find the treasure room. Hey, look, there it is. And we gotta try and get some really good items here because I, I don't know what this uh, final boss, if it even is what I'm saying it is, could entail. Wow, there's a lot of new items. This is perfect. This is a damage up, I guess. I looked to my left and I saw a little stat, so I'm assuming, right? Spawn a trumpet for 10 seconds. Oh, it's an active low, man. It's a 50% damage up in the range. Damage enemies in the range. Okay, well, you know what? I'll pick it up uh, just so I can see what it does, right? And then uh, we'll give it away and then reroll it. Just because I, I, of course, I'm curious, right? Like, what is this? Ah, I see. So the way I would describe this, right? I, I assume it's something similar to basically like a placeable uh, succubus aura. You know, you place it down. Wow, it seems really strong, by the way. What the hell? That's really good. <laughs> wow, that is a strong item. But yeah, you just place it down, it deals damage. Pretty cool stuff. Let's re-roll it, though, uh, when I get the opportunity. Do I want to go devils or angels? I'm thinking angels today, uh, purely because I do want the best chance possible to fight whatever it is I'm going to be fighting. And angels are, you know, just a little bit better, as well as the fact that I can now roll key pieces is going to kind of factor into my decision making here. You and her little old me. Oh, what are you? This is definitely part of the mod. What are you? Okay. Think logically. Just stay away from whatever you see that is from the wall, right? I, I am a blind reacting to this as we speak. I have become the react channel. Okay, okay, all right, understood. I'm, uh, I'm gonna die. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm understanding. Unless there's a second phase, they don't seem too bad, actually, right? I mean, this is basically the fight so far, right? Just don't stand near wherever they show up and then kind of just shoot at them. Oh my goodness, I've never been hit by like poison aura and that would have been so embarrassing. <gasps> All right, second try is a go. Uh, I'm not gonna go in the devil room, no problem. Uh, maybe we can reroll that. After trying it a second time, it was pretty easy to be honest with you. It kind of just did the exact same thing over and over again, right? But still, really cool concept for a, a boss. What was I called? Like Necro Spider, I think? Like an undead spider variant, super cool. Well, the logical thing is to roll you. Hey, that's really good. Thank you. And anything here, we'll take the matchbook for the next floor, right? Maybe secret room as well. I gotta make sure I'm min-maxing here because I have a feeling like seeing that there's a boss there, a new boss I had no idea about. I'm scared, right? There's new bosses, maybe new enemies. I don't know what I'm in for. For all I know, I get destroyed. 
I also not seen any fairy dust to pick up. I don't know what it looks like. I just picked up the item that says fairy dust, so I'm hoping something happens, right? I'll check the shop. I don't have the money yet, but I might. Oh, there's some things I want to try. This is an IOU, right? I remember the IOU. But is this a different version of the IOU? This is an item that only costs one coin, but it's a negative luck up. Fills the player's coins to limit, so 99, but pay 20% of coins that I have for debt after floors with 20% interest. Oh, I see. Oh, man. We'll remove the player's items, then a heart if coins are not enough. So you lose items if you can't pay your mortgage? After paid off, all debts IOU disappears. Oh, wow. What about rune cape? Okay, well, that's just a little on the nose, huh? A shot speed up and it drops three random runes. You know, that seems stupid strong. I think I will do that. You know, I am pretty curious, I think. How about we just take care of you? Get a deal chance. I can buy this. Shot speed. I see the future. I got some of the best stuff possible. Give me this now, because why not? I don't know why one coin decided to be quirky and spawn all the way over there, but that's just how it is. Gimme, gimme. I don't exactly want the IOU. It kind of scares me, but I'll take the soul of Isaac and we will a super duper reroll our angel room that we are totally going to get because I blew up that keeper. What kind of chuck from Colostomia? Bro through the Hail Mary of his life. Oh my God. I didn't get anything. Reroll. I'll take a star. Thank you. Oh, I didn't even see it. I was so hard focused on killing those flies, I was literally in a brain state, you don't understand. I was basically a zombie, but here we go, another luck up fairy dust. If we get one more, we get flight. Very cool concept. Boom. Uh, I just take blind here, I think. Star fairy, I'm star. Hi, star. What do you do? I don't get to read. It's a familiar that is dormant every floor, but awake after entering the treasure room so since i picked them up in the treasure room i imagine they just woke up right and they spawn a key which is just what happened they shoot a bunch of different tiers and if player has all fairies which i guess are certain items they awake together and damage becomes three times you gotta collect them all i guess how stop me get your booty out of here and give me a good item please oh yeah good stuff anything cool from you milk all right it's mid so heading to the next floor, we have catacombs with an immediate treasure room, which is super good for us because of the star fairies uh, mechanics, right? Uh, she is just not doing anything right now. An absolute bozo, completely useless. But wake up, it's time to game. Give me this Rosie for another tears up. And they do seem like a really strong familiar, so it is important that we get them early, right? I suppose that will mean that uh, they're not actually going to be available at all on the home floor because there is no uh, treasure room for us to open. So we got to be aware of that. But that doesn't mean they're completely useless, right? Because this is where Shield of Loyalty comes in with that crane game that I'm really curious about and kind of want to do. Where we know because of the Shield of Loyalty crazy trinket that um, this little star fairy is actually going to be blocking shots for us, which is super cool. An eraser from here, we may as well use it. I'm trying to see all the items that we're going to spawn though, right? Okay, there's, there sure are a lot, right? You want to get all the items out first because you never know how lucky you're going to be when you get like a three-man reroll. Who do I want to erase? Well, I don't want to waste my rooms too much. So probably the first person I see that seems like halfway common. Uh, a boil? I don't really care. Ah, fine. I just don't want to be walking around and wasting my rerolls for my D6, right? We got to go pick it back up because that is a juicy room. So many roll potentials there. Hey, there you go. Cool. All right, now we go reroll crazy. I'm gonna take this damage up though. Now I think about it. I don't care about the speed down. I need it. Now I do have a rule about going against Dogma and that is never, ever, ever try and fight Dogma when under 0.8 speed. That is like the, the threshold in my opinion. I don't know. Well, now I think about it. Was it 0.8 or 0.6? It was one of those, right? And the reason you don't want to do that is uh, because when Dogma does the uh, spin to win attack, right? Uh, having anything less than uh, 0.8 speed makes it near impossible for you to dodge anything. Now we're not fighting Dogma, right? But uh, I still think the same principle applies. We're going to be fighting. Uh, a, a potentially a very hard boss here so let's keep our speed higher than 0.8 and not delve any lower goodbye greed we get our final fairy dust very cool plus a steam cell which is awesome flying wish now we get to fly we get little wings cool stuff it's always a luck up every single time it happens right so it's not useless anymore either right we can find more fairy dust and we'll just get more and more luck up i think that was one of the perfect items that we could have found early on gonna scale very well for us this is gonna be a nice reroll. boom uh i don't want to use book of revs because that will lock in pestilence fight and i don't want to get a cube of meat or a ball of bandages right now 
So we'll keep going. Maybe get another roll if I'm lucky. Oh, that is Damocles, but three times. I'm not even looking at the description. I don't know what it says, but I can only assume the worst. It's a quality zero. Game Damocles. <laughs> Deal a heart of damage to player. Double Damocles' update rate. What? It's just Damocles, but way worse. <laughs> that is an awesome item. I, I, I want to do something with that, actually, genuinely. Damocles, but it's like super bad. It's like golden Damocles. Uh, definitely not doing that for today, but a super Super cool to find and I'm happy it was there. Secret in here. Uh, you know what's crazy is all the items in the world could be in the arcade and it wouldn't matter because there's one in the secret room. Plus I have a soul of Isaac. Oh, it's looking like I might have to cook something up, you know? How about we fight the boss? We'll get a perfectly timed roll. We'll see if we get an angel room, but I don't even want to re-roll it, honestly. If I do land an angel, I'll probably just roll the secret. Okay, now I'm not making this up, but I'm pretty sure the Forsaken naturally has like the lit emoji in his eyes when he does brimstone. <laughs> I, I'm almost certain that I didn't make that up in my mind. I'm certain that that was like the fire emoji. <laughs> now our stats are actually pretty good, but they're not overpowered, which I think matters a lot here because I don't want to be overpowered, right? Uh, Reroll this. Oh, hello. You know what's funny is that this is my first time recording and that is not my first time recording while also finding TM Trainer. Showed up twice now. But yeah, no, I don't want to be overpowered because whatever this boss that we're going to fight is, right? I don't want it to be a wash. I want to see what the moves are. I want to see what these uh, enemy attacks attacks can be. Now again, the reason I don't want to be too overpowered is because I do want to appreciate the boss, right? So I don't want to go too crazy on rerolls for secret rooms. I don't know why I keep showing up. I should have picked you up so many times. What's wrong with me? Because of Rosary. Tears up though. Right, so, you know, rerolling a secret room and getting epic fetus probably wouldn't be so fun, right? So that's why I did reroll a little bit, but I'm saving the soul of Isaac for maybe a future deal, right? Because I did want to do that initially. That was the initial goal. And I don't want to give up on my dreams, you know? That was my initial one. Treasure room here. Oh my god! Is this common? I am I supposed- is this supposed to happen? Okay, Sunny Fairy. This one works similarly to the Starry one, except this one activates when entering the boss or when you use the Sun card. Cool. I- I, I imagine might actually work in the final boss fight because it- you know, it's a boss. Wow, I hope we find the final one. I really didn't even think we'd find one more. Now you've gone and set me up for failure. I'd rather you didn't show me that item, right? Because now I'm hopeful. Now I'm thinking, oh, but what about a third one? I would rather you just crush my dreams right then and there. Get it over with. Okay, what about you though? Dream catcher, you know, it's good because it's on sale. And it's a little bit of health regen, even if it's minimal. Yeah, see, some games just want to see the world burn. Their players suffer. They build you up just to crush you down. Uh, interesting that this sunny one actually spawns fire mine tears though. Very cool. Speed ball for a bit of spun progress. We missed experimental earlier, but that's okay. What is that? Butta's bowl. Prevent next damage when damaged. It is it- What? <laughs> it's just a one time holy mantle? I mean, all right. I, I, it's new. I, I feel like I have to take it. I don't- is it really that good? One time holy mantle? It's basically just a holy card, right? Maybe there's more to it, but the way I see it, it's a holy card. Is that quality three in my eyes? Not exactly, but sure, I'll take it. Indomitable will. Uh, roll you? Oh, another new thing. <gasps> is it a melee? Cut enemies by sword. It is in 18 seconds. Wait, specifically? What? <laughs> Yeah, you know, with this new Rue Kankin, you're able to destroy any enemy with 18 seconds or your money back. 18 seconds deals five times the player damage per hit and destroys obstacles. Well, it seems broken. Oh, it's a, it's a active. Huh? Re well, I couldn't read that. Hold on. I, I feel like I shouldn't read this because I'm going to say it wrong and then people are going to be like, you're stupid. Rikunku no ken wo kurae. I don't know. Whatever. Ah. So it is kind of like an install, right? Like you use it and then you just you keep it. For Should I keep this? Should I keep this? You know what? Do it, dude. Absolutely. This is perfect. What is going on with me? Ah, oh, I get it. 18 seconds. It's an install for 18 seconds. Okay. Uh, yeah, honestly, it just feels like I should take it, right? It's the Toho item. It's offensive. I feel like I could use this on the Dogma fight. It's perfect. Oh, well, there you go. There's my uh, indomitable will. That item is useless now. <laughs>
It's uh, it's gone forever. Just making sure, right? Like I can get hit again and I'm gonna take actual damage. Yeah, that's just a holy card, I guess. You know what? I respect it, actually. The grind, the will, the need to be a holy card. Oh my god, cross space from Skull? You don't see that every day. What are you? You look like I'm about to like summon Golgotha. What are you? Ash of Phoenix. Player transforms into ashes and release fire waves upon death. If Ash Pile doesn't take any damage for two seconds, revive player and release fire waves. Self-damaging will not trigger this effect. Is this infinite? Nirvana? Does that mean I get to do it and then if I don't take damage for two seconds, I res and then I get to have the ability again? Or is it just gone forever? Because that's insane. That's awesome. I turn into like a globin, right? You gotta finish me off. Treasure room in here, suplex, don't need that, but one of my babies is awake, that's nice. I'll take the poke go here, never seen this layout for a shop, this must come from the mod, pretty cool. Mom is here, I press spacebar, boom, cool, and boom. Alright, well it's broken, understood. <laughs> take this and let's open this door, and I'll also check out this left room because I just didn't get to. Whoa, that was interesting. I take mantle damage there, again. As if I didn't take any damage, like uh, Indomitable Will procced again. Maybe there is a way for it to make it so it's, uh, you know, up again and I just don't know it. Sloth fight here, nothing crazy. Alright, let's go next floor. Let's confirm this, dude. I'm excited to see what this boss is all about. Apparently there's a new ending too. What about a new, uh, Curse of the Blind, that's right, we wanna take this one. It was Sister Maggie, that's okay. Still waking up every single day and thinking the Isaac update is here. I'm so certain that it's coming. Please God, it's gotta be close. I'm basically fiending at this point. I feel like Edmund baited me and this was just one giant troll. And the Isaac online update just isn't real, but what is it? Wait, that was a new item, I don't know what that is. I'll put it up on screen, ba bam Look at those insane editing skills, meow. Uh, Hive Mind over here is pretty cool. What is interesting though is that recently, Edwin did retweet that post that he made basically uh, explaining the entirety of Isaac online and how to participate, right? So if he is kind of promoting it again uh, by retweeting what he recently said, I, uh, I have a feeling it could be pretty soon. I'm predicting within a week. What? is going on over here what are these tiny little dudes i have the cutest men alive what did i what did i pick up because i know i picked up something random spawn haniwa soldiers whoa cool when destroying rocks so it's like keeper's kit different rocks will spawn different haniwas what that's insane school bag also what an incredible detail let me take that red stew that's cool for us uh wow that's insane I guess I'll try and check out all the Haniwas? Haniwas? I'm sorry if I'm, I'm, I'm probably saying it wrong, sorry. Dad's note, what does it say? Isaac, I hate you. I mean, it's gone. <laughs> I don't know how much clearer I can be, woman. Oh my god, did they like, swipe at enemies? Wait a second. They shoot. They're like little mini Isaacs. Aww. And when they get close, they do swipe. That is what I saw. These guys are broken, what? <laughs> These guys are crazy. Cracked out of their mind. Okay, I feel super duper good about this. Uh, a lot of the reason why is because I do have that red stew buff, but it was just nice to have. Uh, a lot of it will be gone by the time I hit basement one, but I think I might still have some left over. And even if I don't, you know, I, I think we're chilling. Uh, my ears may have just been blessed by God. Hearing all those swipes. <laughs> With the Haniwa soldiers was crazy. So here we go. There you go. There it is. Dream soul can only spawn in the treasure room on basement one while ascent. Remove the- wait, uh, is this spoilers? Maybe I should just take it. I, I don't know. It says like it was about to do something and I didn't want to read it. I just want to blind react, you know? Alright, well, I don't see a way we die, so let's just experience what we get to experience. And uh, shout outs to you guys as well for the uh, cool suggestion. I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. Golden bombs as well. That Viz pushed along that. These guys are having a Kamehameha fight. <laughs> you guys see them? They're beam struggling right now. That's so cool. All right. So what happens if I go up here? I hate when video games do like no music tropes. You know what I mean? I can't bomb back in, right? And yeah, no. I get so creeped out. I don't know what's gonna happen. Well, it did the music for about like one second, so immersion got kind of broken, I'm not gonna lie, but let's keep going. Anything in here? No? So I guess something happens in here? What in the- what is that? I don't wanna know. I think I saw the word cushion in the external item description, and I'm probably gonna imagine that. What are you? Oh, you literally sleep on it. It is a cushion. Cutscene, now be quiet! Viz, shut the hell up! <laughs> Viz, you're ruining my- uh, you know what? 
I hate these guys. I'm Doremi, the administrator of this world. Why am I here? What an insane background, by the way. Look at the way it's twisting and turving. My, I've never seen anything like this in Isaac. Looks like you're still in a terrible nightmare. I'm sure this probably makes sense to any fans of Toho, by the way. Please survive the following battle. I don't know that much. I just know the characters and what they look like, right? All right, let's see what you can do. Cool health bar. Are they almost dead? <laughs> Viz, stop it, man. You're too powerful. There you go. He's dead. All right, cool. So we got some interesting bullet patterns here. Blue and pink. Whoa. It is kind of aggressive. It, it, it does seem like a, a more aggressive hushed attack pattern right now. Ow. There you go. There's a hit. Do they do this forever until I hit them enough? Or are they going to do something different, right? I don't want to skip anything. It looks like they're doing this for a while. I might hit them for now. Okay, let's see. Dodge and weave my way in. That was kind of schnasty, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be right up in your face. I'm not afraid. A lot of that was just the trinket that was really overpowered, but don't worry about it. Oh, another phase. What is that is going on? Brimstone, delirium, Polaroid, dad's note. I, what is that? I agreed. What did I just do? Butterfly, butterfly, supply. Okay, this is a lot more serious than I thought it was going to be. Cool. I also really like that detail. You see this? I thought this red line was like enemy. I was kind of scared. But what I'm realizing is that it shows you where the boss is at the top of the screen. As a sort of indicator, which is really, really good. Banger music going off. Just kind of holding up and dodging, right? In my experience, that's kind of how you play Toho, right? You just kind of... <laughs> What's going on? I have to kill her in time! Oh! Good! I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know. That's literally how Toho works. I'm so stupid. Did I get it? Oh my god, I got it. All right, all right, all right, understood. We get to see every single uh, tier attack pattern. And then the moment that timer starts, uh, you know, we just kind of sword them to death. I, I did not realize. Here we go again. Exact same items. I don't know if this means something. Oh, I'm picking the bo- <gasps> Give me the brimstone one. Oh my god. And then I have 40 seconds to take care of them. Okay, I want to see what they do, but I don't want to mess it up. It looks like it's a, like a mega stan a Toho combination, right? When there's like 15 seconds left, I'll go sword mode. Whoa, those bullet patterns come out of like nowhere. I see it. I, I, I'm understanding why I'm getting hit now. There you go. All right, I, I get it. Uh, I'm going to just kind of sword her at this point. Got it. And you get a little bit of a reward at the very end, which is interesting and probably appreciated, right? Because I could see this being really hard, actually. Because you got to do how many? What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different bosses, different effects. Um, let's try the dad's note fight. This is so awesome, actually. What? 40 seconds for this. Looks like they do cool Trisagian brimstone stuff. My damage is not high enough at a base tier rate. Uh, but luckily, I do have the sword. Let's take care of it now. Seems like that's uh, all they do. Good. Another soul heart. You can also use the crystal ball to heal up, very good. Oh, I love this fight. I'm fully immersed, guys. This is sick, actually. It's a good thing we have a lot of range as well, right? Because uh, we don't need to get up too close. If your eyes are hurting and you're having a hard time figuring out where I am on the screen, don't worry, I'm going through the exact same thing, except I'm not getting hit because I'm gaming. Oh, look at me go. I am fully immersed. This is sick, actually. What? Wow, it's super cool music, too. Okay, greed. Let's do greed. What's the greed fight? What do you do for this? Whoa! Spiral? What is that? How do I dodge that? I don't know. Giga fart? <laughs> There's probably a way you're supposed to dodge this, but I don't know how. I didn't understand how to do that one. I'll look back at it later. You know, if I fail again, like, uh, you know, we can always retry. No big deal, right? I suppose the better strategy is if I want to win, I should just go full on sword. I feel like that's not fun, but I also want to win. <laughs> how do I want to do this? I also have reverse chariot. Oh, the music's building. I'm deciding. Delirium seems like a terrifying thing. How about I just go full on sword? I'm not gonna let you do anything. Uh, goodbye. Delirium's on the floor. I'm terrified. What does that mean? I don't know. You can't kill this thing. You can't kill it. That is so awesome. Got it. Nice. Delirium one's done. Got to heal up. I cannot thank the fact that this sword exists in the game more than I, I currently am. It is the sole reason I'm able to do this boss right now. We are also healing through Crystal Ball. That was complete luck, but I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> this is really a full-on final fight. This is awesome. All right, the Delirium one was cool. Uh, let's do Knife Last, right? It's probably lamb related. A bunch of tears around me. You're spawning a bunch of spiders. I see. So yeah, Dark Room related. That one seems pretty easy, actually. Later. All right, here we go. Last one, Knife. Mom Shadow Mechanic. Whoa! Whoa, this is sick! Rainbow Tornado. Oh! 
missiles while also trying to dodge mom shadow what an insane concept there is a giant knife on the ground and a planetarium background as well this is absurdly cool oh my god i need my reverse chariot there you go give it to me i have to i get kill her in time please kill her please i did it oh my god that was so close i did it cutscene except this time the viz isn't here i'll be quiet Isaac gets abducted? <laughs> What? That was sick. I've never seen an in-game, like, fully animated cutscene. That was genuinely awesome. GG's.